to the vlog today. We are in an unfortunate, um, not, what, unfortunately all too familiar position right now. As we shut the door and said goodbye to the kids and the babysitter and walked down the stairs, I was like, I kind of, I felt like an emotional like, oh, here we go again. Did you feel that at all? It's a lot, but we are on our way back for more doctor's appointments. So if you remember right, the cardiologist that did Judy's original EKG, he was like, um, he starts calling other doctors in. Our one hour test turns into like a five hour event. And that's when we realized like, this is bad. Something big is wrong. At that point, that doctor took over our case, but he actually moved back east. And so he was like, from the, from the very first day, he was like, hey, I'm going to figure out what is wrong, and then I'm gonna pass you on to a colleague. Like, that is my goal, we have one month. So he pushed in all these appointments, and I'm grateful because I think if he hadn't crammed so many appointments into that first, like that time before he left, we would probably still be doing appointments. And yeah, it probably would have drug on forever. Yeah, he and pulled. Would have been like super scared for so much longer. Right, it's been and not knowing any type of results. Exactly. So then we met with that doctor, but our appointment with him was very short, very like, okay, like this is kind of what it is, and I'm gonna pass you on to a colleague, which is now today. So we're here to meet Judy's future New cardiologist. cardiologist. His cardiologist moving forward, and we are um, filling all the fills. Yep. Are you filling all the fills? Yeah. I don't really know what to expect. I don't either. I don't know what to say. I don't know what. I mean, I have all the questions and yet none of the questions. I almost feel like I need to start fresh and have him retell me everything the other doctor told to see if he agrees. I mean, I'm sure this guy had like 20 hours of having to research your to case. Brief, what? From, just from the other right, doctor. just to like catch up to where we're currently at. Yeah. So I almost feel like, I'm hoping that we'll have another appointment with him in the next month or so, and that this first one, we for sure know that the blood pressure medicine is not lowering his blood pressure as much as we would like. So he's consistently still like, what do you think, 140, 140 145, 145, over 80, 80 82? 80. Yeah. Is that fairly accurate? Yeah. Guys, holding a camera. And if I'm gonna be getting healthier, I can't have it that high. Right, that's like. like if I'm gonna be starting to lower, uh, what, I mean, the swelling uh -huh. needs to go away. It's not going to be really doing a good job if my height, my blood pressure is that high. Right. Because they're currently trying to offload the pressure on JD's heart so that all it has to focus on is healing. <gasps> There's a parking spot. record anything but we are waiting for the genetics person to come talk to us next mm -hmm. so we'll give you more of an update here in a minute um but to be honest i was hoping to walk away with more black and white answers yeah. that can be the story well, of this journey it's gonna be the story of this journey jay would you like to uh, I mean, take it away yeah all they said was keep taking your blood pressure medicine and let's reevaluate in six months which is great, uh, but also I just want to make sure that we're doing exhausting everything that we need to do uh, to get over this. Right. So. Well, over I, I just or want to improve. Be more proactive on what what on my care, and this guy he was a little bit less proactive than Doctor John, our other doctor. Right. Uh, and so. He was just more like, eh, no, we're good, like whatever, uh, just kind of brushing it off to the side. So, um, which I didn't love, just yeah. feeling like I was not, because I'm sure that they deal with like a lot of um, really extreme cases, and so that they feel like this case is not like a big deal because of it. Right. And so they're kind of putting off that, like, this is fine. So if you're like, GD's in heart failure B, so that's like somewhere between 25 to 50%. Well, he deals with people in D, which is 75 to 100% most of his day. So he's like, eh, you'll be fine. You're, you'll be fine in 25%, right? And we're like, no, we want to be in under 10%. The 100%. 
kid. Well, yeah, that's backwards of what 0%. I was saying. But yeah, like we want to be 0% in heart failure. Um, which, uh, there's been some confusion. We do talk about this kind of confusing. There's no way JD's ever leaving this diagnosis. But he could move up to A. So there is room for improvement. And that is what we are trying to get to. And we feel like, like today, he, nothing. He doesn't want to put him on beta blockers. He doesn't want to increase his blood pressure medicine. In six months, he wants to do an echo again and see if his right side's gone down. That is it. And I just don't know if I'm on board with that. No. I don't know. Feels a little. Yeah, it feels just a little uh, not caring. Yeah, I don't know. It was very weird. I also, Dr. John would take off his mask. He was so great. I don't know why I was like this Not guy that he just took off his mask, but he just made you feel comfortable right I was like this guy like I just didn't I don't know I Clearly I'm struggling for words and that doesn't really happen to me a lot no, it doesn't. <laughs> We may try to get a referral to a new doctor's office. We need to sit with it and think because I do well, feel like not, not against uh, like a PA, but this guy he's a PA, not an actual like cardiologist. Yeah, as well. So I just felt like he didn't want to attack this at the level that we do, and, and that's it. Yep, and that's, and that's it. Story. Besides that, he was great. He was nice. Yeah. He was kind. He was personable. He was a good person. I just want to be really aggressive with this, and I didn't feel like that was the case. Yeah. They also uh, moving on. Genetic testing is in. JD does have. I'm a superhero. Ah, yes. Who knew? That's it. Oh, they so they want to clone me <laughs> to become the next superhero. Yeah, right. He's like got the Captain America qualities, except exactly. for not quite like Brenty. Well, I, yeah, I just don't have the strength or the stamina. Okay, yes. Yeah. So he does have some kind of genetic abnormality. He said he would consider a gray area. It's not like a, this is what caused this, and it's not like a, you don't have anything. So we are being referred to go down to Murray, it's like an hour and a half away, and maybe like an hour, and go down and be, get further evaluation on his genetic testing. So we will find out then, like I asked him, should his brothers get tested? Should our children get tested? All of that, and so he said. Just defer to them. Yeah, he basically was like, this this is not my specialty. I'm not willing to discuss it. So we are going to go meet with the genetic testing people. They should call us within a week. We have the referral in, and I don't know how long. I have no clue what to expect. Will that take a week to get in? Will that take a month? I just don't really know. So um, sounds like there's not a for sure this is why anything was caused, but there is something that we need to further evaluate and he said that they would let us know too about the brothers and about um, our kids so that's interesting I do know that JD's little brother um, his wife's like mm, I don't know what's with this he's had high blood pressure like right on the verge exactly like JD I'm just not doing it like we're gonna just start the process so that's one of them um, but we'll kind of see what the older brothers have to say about it so that is that. I feel a little like the wind has been taken out of my sails and I'm not sure why. We'll have to reevaluate. Yeah, I don't know what to do with my hand. <laughs> you can pick my nose. Yeah, okay. So we promised we would revisit how we felt earlier today. As of right now, I am kind of leaning on towards, it'll be a lot of work, but probably going to a new cardiologist just yeah. because you don't risk what you can't afford to lose. A wise woman once said that. That's me? My mother. Yeah, I can't oh. afford to lose you. Oh. Still don't know what to do with my hand. You mean so much to me. So, what do you think? Same. Same? Yep. Same yeah. game? Yep. I probably will dream about it tonight and I'll let you guys know. Alright, we promise to check back in on this tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to Lagoon, but not just any part of Lagoon. Laguna Beach. Which is an extra fun little added twist. My shirt is very dirty. My shirt was super dirty today too. Like, I must have wiped my face on that? That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, don't be Ew, alright. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah. Anyway. They love you anyways. Yeah. We're all glad you're alive. I need to go clean the kitchen. No, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah. You guys, we love you. Thanks for being here. Okay. Thanks for being here. Check we'll us see out you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.